Hi. So again we have one set of problem. We have three problems which we are going to solve one by one. Here one very important thing which I want to share with you is we are going to solve each one of these problems using two methods. One is step by step method and the second one is a shortcut. Shortcuts are very useful when you are participating in competitive exams or you are participating in Olympiads. In that case the speed matters and then if you know shortcuts definitely you will have more time to solve difficult problems right so first we will solve it using step by step method for the first timers and then we will solve it using shortcuts for the people who want to increase their speeds so let us first attempt the first problem first problem is we have to find a number which is 20 percent more than 80 so how do we solve it Yes, if we can find the 20% of 80 and then if we add it to 80, the new number will be 20% more than 80, right? So 20% of 80 will be 20% is 20 by 100 because percent is nothing but the numerator of a fraction whose denominator is 100. So 20% will be represented as 20 by 100 in fractions and this fraction of 80 will be this multiplied by 80, right? These zeros will cancel these zeros and we will have 8 to the 16, right? So the number which is 20% more than 80 will be 80 plus 16. This is the original number and this is the 20% of 80. So this new number which will be 80 plus 16 that is 96 this will be the number which is 20% more than 80, right? So this was step by step method. First we have found a 20% of 80 and then that 20% of 80 which was 16, this we have added to 80 and we have found the new number 96 which is actually 20% more than 80, right? So this was step by step method and now I am going to solve it using shortcut. 20% more will be actually equal to 100 plus 20 that is 120 percent right so 20 percent more than 80 will be 120 percent of 80 right that will be nothing but 120 by 100 multiplied by 80 the zeros will cancel this zero and this zero will cancel this zero and this will be equal to 12 multiplied by 8 that is 96 right so what we have saved here here we have saved one calculation which is addition in this case right here we are calculating 20 percent of 80 and in place of this calculation we are doing 120 percent of 80 over here right so this was the long method in which we were first finding the percentage value 20 percent and then we are adding it to 80 and then we were getting a number which is 20 percent more than 80 right and in this case we have actually found 120 percent of 80 and that also gives us 96 as the result so in both cases we are getting same result but calculation is slightly different and in the second case, which I am calling shortcut, we are actually saving on one calculation, right? So let's take the second example now. Second problem is we have to find 30% more than 60, right? The first method or the method one, if we call it, in this case, what we are going to do, first we are going to find the 30% of 60, which will be 30 by 100 of 60 right and if I solve it further the zeros cancel themselves and this will be equal to 6 threes are 18 so 30 percent of 60 we got as 18 but we were supposed to find a number which is 30 percent more than 60 so that number will be 60 plus 18 that is the 30 percent of 60 and this will be equal to 78 right so this is the result when we do it systematically and yes now we are going to solve it using our shortcut in which 30% more will be equal to 130% right so what we have to find now we have to find 130% of 60 and this will be equal to 130 divided by 100 
multiplied by 60 right so the 0 will get cancelled by this 0 and this 0 by this 0 and 13 multiplied by 6 is 6 3s are 18 1 carried forward 6 1s are 6 plus 1 7 right yes we have got the result we have got the result for the second problem and the result is 78 and this 78 we are getting by using both the methods right the result we got here was 96 and the result we are getting in second case is 78 and then we have a third problem so we have solved two problems in which we are increasing the value and the third problem is we have to find 15 percent less than 80 right so this is slightly different but not much difference is there so we'll solve it so now let's target the third problem in which we have to find a number which is 15 percent less than 80 right so yes first we are going to solve it systematically what we'll do is we will find 15 percent of 80 and then we will subtract this value from 80 and that new number will be 15 percent lesser than 80 right so let's first find the 15 percent of 80 so this will be 15 by 100 multiplied by 80 right so if I solve it further it will be 0 will cancel this 0 5 3's are 15 5 2's are 10 2 1's are 2 2 4's are 8 4 3's are 12 so 15 percent of 80 is 12 and what we have to find we were supposed to find a number which is 15 percent less than 80 so that new number will be 80 minus 12 that is 68 right so using first method we are getting result as 68 yes now we are going to solve it using a shortcut what we were supposed to find we are supposed to find a number which is 15 percent less than 80 15 percent less is actually equal to 100 minus 15 that is 85 percent right 15 percent less than a number will actually be 85 percent of that number right so let's find the 85 percent of 80 so 85 percent of 80 will be 85 by 100 multiplied by 80 right the 0 will cancel this 0 5 1s are 5 5 7 are 35 5 2 are 10 2 1s are 2 2 4 are 8 and this will be equal to 17 multiplied by 4 4 7 are 28 2 carried forward 4 1s are 4 plus 2 6 yes we are getting the same result over here also right 68 and 68 so the result for the third problem is 68 so these were the two methods and after this I'm going to take few word problems we'll start from simple word problems and then we will attempt to solve slightly difficult and complicated problems right so bye bye till then